Hello, our friends, Evolutionary e -E Arts and Hearts Home Family. Hello there. Welcome back. As always, guys, thanks for being part of the family. Make sure you're subscribed to all three channels as each will have unique videos going up. Of course, everything will be on Patreon and everything will be over on uh, Ko-Fi as well. So let's start over here. You have a massive landslide forces 12 families to evacuate from their visibly leaning homes next to a canyon in L.A. As Southern California Edison shuts off the power and the gas company rushes to the scene. Now, this is the L.A. suburb of Rolling Hills. Well, those hills were rolling. Yeah, were. <laughs> it's aptly named. So they were evacuated as they appeared to be on the verge of collapsing into a nearby canyon. And you can see some pictures. And you know, these are not inexpensive homes. Again, I don't know if there is such a thing in California as an inexpensive home, is there? Um, no, no, not to my knowledge. <laughs> not to my knowledge either. I guess it's all relative. It's all relative. So we can see what's going on there. As we know, there's a, a lot of fault activity uh, L.A., of course, is is basically split by the San Andreas. And at times we've seen tar pits. We, I mean, you know, there could be volcanic activity out in the hills. Oh, yeah. They say the heat down below is making the ground shift in Chicago. OK, so that's a little more curious. And by the way, uh, hi, guys that are monitoring, uh, whether it's you know, FBI, CIA, CCP, they're, they're all basically serving the same masters as we were doing something and, and looking for an address and it showed that our IP was out of Chicago. Yeah, that says a lot. But then again, we know, you know, most Americans, especially those Americans and you know, other NATO countries too, well, around the world really, if you're watching these type of videos, you're going to be on some sort of a list and you're going to be watched. And if you're making these videos, you're going to be watched very closely. I know you're going to be on a list and they'll check it twice. So since the mid 20th century, according to this article, the ground between the city surface of Chicago and the bedrock has warmed 5.6 degrees Fahrenheit on average. According to a new study from Northwestern University, all that heat, which comes mostly from basements and underground structures, has caused layers of sand, clay and rock beneath the buildings to subside or swell by several millimeters. Over the decades, enough to worsen cracks and defects in walls and foundation. All around you, you have heat sources, says the study's author. And it isn't just Chicago, it's big cities worldwide. Humans burning of fossil fuels is raising the mercury at the surface. But the heat is also pouring out of basements, parking garages, train tunnels etc etc underground climate change wow they i mean they have one thing they are they have one thing on their mind they're they're one track pony at this time you know before it was you know mask up and go get your ouchie and now it's all about climate change underground overground everywhere you look and again we know there's technology in play this is so beyond obvious and you know thank you guys for uh you know being devoted and checking out most of the videos and you know when we did this one will climate change agenda wash us all away yeah the views 1.8 much less than typical and, you know, the guides say the views are actually 10 times what they show anyway, because they they could control every it's all controlled by AI. So how do we know these numbers are legit? How do we know the numbers from that study are legit? We don't. That's the bottom line. Everything has an agenda to it. Everything has a purpose to it. Now we see a 6.6 .6 over here. This was. Um, yeah, it's an area that can get some big ones, but certainly a 6.6 .6 off the coast of Antigua and Barbuda. Uh, it's interesting. No major damage, thankfully. Uh, no tsunamis to speak of. It is absolutely um, one to pay attention to, as and there's also been some aftershocks. 
There are big changes that are coming. You know, that quake was felt all the way over in Dominican Republic, also in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is under here and Dominican Republic. Yeah, this this is a plate, as you can see, the, the Caribbean plate. There's an intersection of a lot of plates over here. Oh, yes, we are in for some rocking and rolling in the near future. Absolutely. So region 3558, which current, currently appears to be a magnetic plague, produced a moderate 2.3 M-class solar flare. The event generated a CME that's heading mostly to the southwest, although a faint Earth-directed component may be associated. More updates later. It's predicted to possibly deliver a glancing blow by the 12th. So, you know, again, a glancing blow, it will still affect our consciousness, which will affect our body, and, and we will definitely feel it. it. It could give us a slight uptick. I mean, it's, it's not huge. And neither is the Schumann Resonance today. As you can see, power six, this is really quiet at the moment. So curious and interesting. And it's all smoke and mirrors. And, you know, it's just kind of like uh, it's finding out again who is behind the curtain and that it's all been an illusion. A, a few things. So I will say uh, respect. Uh, the secretary spoke to this in a speech he gave in Helsinki uh, last month, I believe it was. Uh, what's that? So I'm sorry. A excuse me. A strategic failure for, for Ukraine. Uh, thank you for the correction. Um, uh, which is oh, I, I I need more than one cor correction. He can't, he can't he can't get out he can't get out the lie. <laughs> he, he keeps blurbing. Uh, yeah, it's it's fascinating. Don't you mean a strategic failure for Russia? Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Yeah, a strategic failure for Ukraine. Oh, I mean I mean the other Ukraine. I guess they call it Russia. I know, poor guy. He just saw something wrong on the cue card and he can't quite correct it. You know, it's just, honestly, it's it's kind of comical at this point. If it wasn't so tragic, it, it's actually laughable. And, and I don't know how people can, can believe anything that they read at this point. Now, you know, so again, what, what do we do? We're, we're sharing what's put out there. Do we believe it? No, we, we trust our intuition. You know, is our intuition infallible? No, but it's it's definitely a lot more accurate uh, than anything that's going to come from anything mainstream or even otherwise, too. Because, you know, everybody has their predispositions. And, and I'll see some of these uh, channels and people that are exposing a lot of the um, distortion, a lot of the control grid, but then they're still locked into other areas completely and they ha don't have a clue. But this is exactly how it works. It's compartmentalization. This is how the CIA, the FBI, this is, the, you know, again, the political structure. The president's on a need-to-know basis themselves for many things. There are many things that are way above president level as far as they don't need to know, they don't need to understand. They just need to be a good little puppet. Erdogan has agreed to send Sweden's NATO me mem membership application to parliament for ratification. Extremely bad news for Russia. Usually exactly the opposite is what happens. But this, this is just going to lead to what's been um, seen by many different uh, people because when we talk about this war that's coming, whether we're talking about Nostradamus or so many of the others, Alois Ermeiler, you know, has some interesting prophecies on this as well. Countless people have seen WW3. And in most cases, it does involve this area of Turkey being involved, uh, being invaded by a massive um, Islamic uh, army at some point in time. So really, like when, when they hem and haw, they're not really hemming and hawing. They're, they're just waiting for the right time. Then they get told, okay, go ahead and do that now because other things are in place or we're close enough to certain astrological alignments. 
and then they go ahead. So a lot of times when it looks like they're arguing and they can't decide, yeah, it's just not the right timing. It, that's simply what it is. And often they do wait for specific events. I think they're waiting right now for you know the eclipse that's coming in October. And it, again, I, I just think that starting in October and certainly when we get to the eclipse in April of 2024 next year, I mean, this is hold on to your pants time. It's like, okay, you thought that was the roller coaster ride? No, no, hang on tight. It's 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 just starting out. You know, and when I look at these uh, processes and procedures through the court systems and, you know, well, they, they have to have this meeting and they have to do that meeting. They have to have this paper sign that. To me, all of that's just a buffer <laughs> to wait for the right time. I mean, it's all some kind of a buffer. They they might need a little bit of cushion while they arrange things and get them set up. Um, you know, it's getting easier and easier to see through. So here we have one report saying the Syrian army and the SDF are shelling the Turkish military base in the vicinity of Azaz City, northern Aleppo countryside. And then we have another report saying that it's, it's Russia attacking a Turkish military base. Now, Russia directly attacking a Turkish military base is basically, now it is in a foreign country, it's in Syria. Turkey hasn't been invited to Syria. They went there on their own. Um, you know, again, you could you could look at it and say, well, geez, would they say that's a reason to invoke Article 5? Because, again, Turkey is part of NATO, even though they've bought a lot of weaponry from Russia. Uh, you know, again, you see different sources saying different things. The reality is, again, Russia does supply the Syrian army. The Syrian army wouldn't exist if it wasn't for Russia. So, you know, again, you you can say it is Russia attacking through the Syrian army. You know, but again, it, it's it's all basically part of the bigger picture. Biden revealed sensitive American military information during a live interview Sunday morning stating we're low on ammunition. This is amid communist China and Russia's growing military ag aggression against the U.S. This is Senator Marsha Blackburn, Tennessee, um, obviously a very, very vocal critic of, of 46 and everything. She's been there lockstep with many of the other uh, right-leaning governors and senators. Low on ammunition? you got to be kidding me. Well, maybe they should get the ammunition from the IRS. Oh, wait, the IRS needs that to, to harass us. Yeah. We're spending $800 billion a year. China is up to 300 and something billion now. That's growing very quickly. But still, it's, you know, maybe it's less than... It's more than a third, but it's less than half of what, what, what we are spending. And we've been spending at that type of pace for a very, very long time. You know, Russia spends less than 10% than we do. Where does it all go? It lines the pockets of the military industrial complex and all the political uh, puppets that they control. Air Force suspends personnel moves and bonuses due to funding shortfall. If, if you don't understand that the entire military system is a massive Ponzi scheme, you know, again, there are those that say we don't really have to pay our taxes, that we can find ways to get out of the system. But I personally know people that have lost everything trying to do that. Lost everything. And we could look to some historical figures that spoke up against the system, and they lost everything, including their 3D existence, really, uh, over the same thing. Chinese Communist Party is setting up centers in the U.S. to surveil on Americans. The DOJ must investigate this serious threat to our national security. The DOJ is on the payroll. Of course, all the alphabet soups are to a degree. Some are more in the know than the others. They're, they don't work for the people in their countries. They work for the system. And the system is handing us over to the CCP 
right now. I mean, just really, guys, listen to this. I mean, and, and I'm not, I don't mean I'm going to play it, but you can see the secret Chinese police stations in the U.S. The war is already over. They've already declared their victory. This is so obvious. They just have to carry out the procedures. And, you know, again, it might look like a catastrophic, overwhelming attack, and all of a sudden, we give, we give. Uh, surrender letter has already been put together. Now, they, they didn't feel they were reputable enough, but I just want to put it out there. I wouldn't be surprised, you know, that they have it already all written down. Of course they do. And in fact, I'm sure they probably do. The total scenario of how they will hand it over and how they'll give perhaps, you know, Washington, Oregon, California, maybe, maybe not Nevada over to, to China, uh, how they'll maybe give, you know, uh, definitely Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, back to Mexico. And, and again, split it up, you know, put New England and New York and maybe even Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and maybe even Maryland and, and the like, and, and make it part of a new European Union of some sort or a new Commonwealth of Canada. You know, again, Canada has already fallen. So has New Zealand. So has Australia. And the reality is, you know, we have two to a degree. Yeah, there's still 300 and something million people in the U.S. Yeah, there's still 400 million uh, guns. But again, yeah, it's it's not about armed resistance. It's about how do you get out of the system and make it irrelevant? Well, it's going to take people waking up and stop feeding the system from the point of view of they're going into the system. Why do you think universal basic income is coming? It's going to be so tempting to so many people to just sit home and play Nintendo or whatever. I I don't know. See, I I haven't played since Nintendo days. I haven't played video games since the maybe 80s or early 90s. I know. You know, I'm kind of around the Mario Brothers Tetris era. Yeah. I like Tetris. That was fun. I loved it too. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that that shows you how far out of it we are when it comes to that. But hey, you know, we're, we're you know, seniors here, sort of. Well, I could speak for myself. Cindy's eternally youthful. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> but again, yeah, people will, will go for it. You mean I get paid to stay home and do nothing? Yeah, that's that's the reality of it. USNI news looking at the fleets it's really spread out and busy and and again you know it's very similar to what we saw uh, last week and you see the bark eagle they say it's heading over to Bermuda Um, you have a Coast Guard Coast Guard now they weren't paying attention to Coast Guard groups before they sure are now is it a sign that we're really depleted again there's our entire military pretty much almost every single one of them had to do an ouchie Uh uh-huh rail traffic between Novosisk and Rostov Andan temporarily halted communication relay cabinet set on fire this is in Russia and you know again it's been Uh, seen by some that Russia and France will have complete revolutions where the entirety of the government will be overthrown. But again, it is part of the plans of the few to really overthrow the entirety of the system. And so, you know, while China is being praised, Klaus was there the other day praising China as such an example for everyone doesn't mean that China will be in charge. No, no. Again, it, it's just the system. This is in southern Iran. You have a huge fire, Iranian oil refinery. Again, on both sides, the BRIC side and the NATO side, you find all sorts of strange activities that you might take to be the machinations of sleeper cells. And here you have an Air Canada flight, 777. Uh, you have a service truck that caught fire underneath the aircraft. Lots of strange events going on. Lots of coincidences. 
a lot of coincidences and and again you know forever ramping up and and i do sit here and i wonder what is that straw gonna look like that breaks the camel's back because i i feel just like you guys do we're we're we are that close um just kind of watching it and being as ready as we can and when it comes to preparation there's so many things we can do and and i do suggest don't overwhelm yourself make a list make a priority list and then check it off baby steps um but definitely don't overwhelm yourself with all the things to do because no matter no matter how much you prepare i don't think anyone's really truly going to be ready Israeli colonial settlers setting fire to hundreds of acres of Palestinian-owned lands near Nablus. You know, again, we're divided by our <clears throat> religious backgrounds, and, and it's right there in our faces. It's right there in our faces, even in, in, in the books themselves. It's, it's right there. It's so obvious to see an unethical truth of net zero around 40,000 child slaves in the Congo work in hazardous conditions in cobalt mines inadequate safety equipment for very little money these are kids of course you know the, these the, it's it's going to be all about electric vehicles and like you know the slavery of the Anunnaki times all those pictures it, it it's still going on there is so much evidence a massive, massive mining operations on a scale in which we don't even do to this day on this planet. It's always been a planet that's been used and utilized as a resource. Uh, I was a weatherman in the United States Air Force, and we've been led astray by the military industrial complex, and they're responsible for the cloud's creation and weather manipulation programs. They're dark operations. That's why they're not out in the media. It's chemtrails, they're not contrails, are indeed real. They're spraying almost every day. We have clouds in the sky we've never seen before. Almost every day, I'm seeing clouds I've never seen before. And believe me, I'm seriously concerned with, by what, with what I'm watching. As a wildlife biologist, I've been watching the ecosystem collapse. When you lose all your stream organisms, when you have aluminum overload in your streams, you're killing your microbial bacteria and you're disrupting the entire ecosystem. So it goes way beyond just a little bit of pollution. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, again, you get them worried about the next big thing that's going to hit. And, you know, again, how many MDs do you see out there, especially the ones that are at the forefront of, of the system? saying you know come on guys eat healthy exercise get as fresh air as you possibly can you know you might want to use uh, double filtered water which is actually what we've been doing lately um no they're just going to be saying you know look to pfis or look to modrna look to all these different industry giants for the solution because again they help to create the laziness of humans and and this is part of the system they want everybody sedentary if you're sedentary and you don't get your blood moving you're going to have less less oxygen going to the cells it's just going to lead to an early demise it's going to lead to chronic disease and it's going to lead to uh, brains that are not operating at full function. That's exactly what they want. Mm -hmm. and they want that and they do that and they take us from a very early age and they they tell us, well, the, you know, this is how the medical system is. And I mean, they might, they might do some things when it comes to, well, if you eat better and you exercise, but they don't go into detail because they can't. They were never taught what eating different and exercise does. And it completely reframes your whole mind, body, soul. If, if you walk into it earnestly and you really truly do eat right and exercise, it changes everything. It's such a big game changer. And if they were to teach doctors to tell people this on a you know on a large scale like have them explain the differences like what can happen instead you know of just mentioning it you know and then you know kind of sliding people a little piece of paper that's going to cover up the problem then that problem just compounds it's not it's not being addressed at all 
Absolutely. And, and more and more people are waking up to, you know, the lies, although it's just flight patterns. And, and, you, and you see clouds like this over a place that you could go on uh, ads back exchange and, and look for the flights. They don't match. Yeah, tell us another one. You know, again, it, they're full of deceit, full of lies. And here, uh, this agent 131711 runs air tests to be, see what's being sprayed after you see those funny clouds. It's nanotechnology. So, you know, again, this is, you know, Morgulans has been around for a long time. And they might tell you it's only in your mind. No, the microscope shows these are self-assembling nanoparticles. This is the same technology uh, to a degree as being used in, you know, the ouchies, at which are now being put in the food supply. Now, the food supply is you know, putting it in the food, putting it in the air, putting it in the water is not as uh, potent a delivery system as the, you know, ouch, that's much more potent. It, it we we can especially if our frequency is high if we are detoxing on a regular basis you know and again um, you can search our channels you can search other channels you know go look uh, at some naturopaths look at some herbalist channels detox and you just do a search how to get rid of nanotechnology you'll find the answers if you just look but again society has been made to be so lazy that people don't even really want to take the time to investigate and this leads to a true zombie apocalypse where most people are sleepwalking all the time and they don't even know that their bodies and minds have been hijacked and they have been hijacked and you know just not hmm, i do kind of want to tell people like a really easy quick way and this is horrible because we're going against everything we say but two cups of borax in the water can really help with the nanotech i mean that's just one way but there's so many so please do go through the channels find out about heavy metal detox because that's what we want to do yeah you know uh, again is he trying to look like darth vader is he trying to look like Anakin, Anakin, Anakim, Anunnaki? Yes. Is that what, it, you know, this right here. Do you guys know Auschwitz? Do you know Bergen-Belsen? Do you understand? I mean, it's, again, we, we talked about the tragedy and and all the horrors of that third r-e-i-c-h and now we're living the fourth because this is the fourth and yes absolutely those cages can also give 15 minute activities for lab mice exactly exactly and you know they'll give you one meal a day of slop and again we've seen it all foretold silent green is people oh i always think of poor mary d when she discovered that Oh, yes. Into the arms of Mother Nature, she will embrace you. Again, it's getting out of the system. Everything about this system has been about enticing us. We have lived a much more cushiony life than our ancestors that we know of, again. Absolutely. And, and it's been on purpose. It's been to make us soft, make us compliant. Make us willing to do anything to have those creature comforts. And we get so addicted to our technology. Can we ever do a day, you know, totally unplugged? Again, 